Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's me, The Incredible Greek, and I'm really excited today because we are going to be watching the very first episode of Marvel's Luke Cage, mate. Luke Cage. The uh, the trailers, what they've been showing us, it just looks... Oh, man, it just looks like a wicked uh, TV series to be watching. And, uh, yep, yeah, going to be uh, start watching this TV series, doing reactions to it. So, this, uh, by the way, this is like my first TV series that I'm doing reaction videos to, so I hope it be a good one, so I know it's going to be good, anyway, let's go, one, two, three, Luke Cage, man, that was a great hey, intro, Don't sit there I like the music, styling and profile, that's my word, yeah, <laughs> yeah. real, <laughs> Doc Rivers, uh, call you at your meeting, oh, all right, play nice, can't even afford a haircut. Yeah, you know what? I was sick and tired of him. What? Oi, yeah, getting up in Luke's face. You sick and tired of what? I was sick and tired of the Knicks losing all the time, man. <laughs> Got some hair, too, right there. Reba's dead. I'm a fugitive. So? Take my advice, brother. The past is the past. The only direction in life that matters is forward. Never forward? Backwards. Yeah. Back. Never backwards, huh? I'm just living my life. Day to day. Want it or not, great power means great responsibility. Oh, shit. Watch where you're going, man. Gun for it, Chico. Is your name Alfredo Diaz? Because he walked out on me on Mars and I was not. I ain't needed daddy then, and I don't need one now. Up to no good. Let's get this money. Yeah. Where's Luke going, man? Tony Stark, the big blonde dude with the hammer, the old dude with the shield, the green monster, and I don't mean Fenway. You referencing, can't get better off footage referencing, than referencing uh, the other Marvel right characters, here. Thor, Tony Stark. Ten days late, Mr. Cage. I need my rent money. And the rent. See, even superheroes have to pay the rent. I count 300. Not enough. Wow. <laughs> swanky, swanky. There he is, Mr. Big Bad Boss. Is it a uh, cotton mouth, innit? It's like, yeah, man, look at my empire. This is the kind of shit that could blow a hole in a battleship. But it's light enough to hold in your hand. Trust me, Domingo. You can brighten someone's day permanently with this shit. Top of the line. The creme de la creme. What's he this got? That grade A. Hammer. Justin Hammer level shit. Oh! No, it's not them two kids, is it? That work. It's not Chico and uh, the other guy, is it? Ooh! Just got his cuts blown out, mate. It is them. Oh shit! Damn. Oh, and money. I'm supposed to kill nobody, man. I had to make a move, Dante. Shamik, what am I gonna do? They're gonna know it was me. <laughs> me, it's like a million dollars, man. Right? Cotton Mouth always looking down at me at the bar. He's gonna know I'm gone. They're gonna know it was an inside job. You right? Oh, what the fuck? What you do? Yo, shit works. Yo, this shit works, Chico. Dante would a snitch. They're not. They just want the money, not the oh. weapons. Come on. Yeah, they've left all the weapons in the truck, in the van. Oh, he's still alive! Dante's still alive! Oh my god! He's gonna... Oh no, he's gonna call him, isn't he? Or text him. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Chico! 
Chico and the other fella, I forgot what his name was, uh, they're in deep shit now. <laughs> Luke Cage getting some. Oh, oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? When? Alright. I'm on my way in. Oh, well, shit. Here we go. Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh! You can laugh. You can. She's a hey, cop. Hey, Bailey. How you doing? It's another beautiful day at the office. Not to love. Don't you start singing show tunes on me. Makes sense now why she was eyeing up cotton mouth. Oh. Cotton mouth. Nice dicks. You've been nice to that Mama Mabel ran it. Shades. I'm a number one seller. I ain't here to spank you. But I do need to look you in your eyes. Was it an inside job? No. Hell no. I needed that money too. It actually was. It took forever to build up that kind of trust. We had to get you back on your feet. Whatever you need. Yo, who is we, you fake ass Ray Charles? <laughs> you cheeky git. I got your back, B. And kill Dante. You didn't see anything going on with either one of them, did you? Yeah, he did. Luke, no. you did, man. I need the money you promised me ASAP. Now you want the money. I used federal grant and tax deductible donation money to complete construction on your club and to facilitate that meticulous deal it just fell All right, off. she needed that money as well. When I get the money, I'm facing an audit. We all go to jail. His friend's the one that played on your summer league team at the Rucker. She got your shit. Oh, man. She making Chico. Oh, no, they know now. Anybody check? Really? Oh, look at him blinging it up now. Look at him. He ain't going nowhere soon, not with all that ass in his face. You want me to keep him here? You need to pay me. Asshole. Oh, shit. She worried about Oh, oh, oh my God. What's he going to do, Sam? Oh, oh no, Shade just walked in. Oh, what? Were they in prison together? He's about to get punched to death. He's gonna get punched to death. Oh. He's dead. Alright, he's dead. He's dead. With the blood. Get his ass out of here. Go fetch my money. He didn't recognize you. Beating the death. Samik Smith. Based on what they found in his pockets, we'll need dental to confirm ID. <laughs> his face is jacked. Mm, they definitely dumped him here. She goes sitting there like, I wish I was back at working at the barber shop. Oh no. You've been in this country for how long? And you still give us the money. Yo. I don't like your tone. <laughs> Excuse me? You're being disrespectful. It's unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Amos. What up? Show the man what you famous for. You want some? 
I don't even like these niggas, man. <laughs> don't fucking blame ya. I've got you. Right, so that concludes the very first episode of Luke Cage, and so far, I am impressed. I am impressed. So, despite, you know, I think throughout this episode, Luke Cage, he was just, I don't know, he was like resisting getting involved in anything. He just wanted to stay out of, uh, out of a lot of things, but the situation has just, it's just made him... It's basically forced him into into doing something now. He's, yeah, he's got all that power. He's fucking bulletproof. He's got to do something now. He can't just stand by anymore and let things just happen the way they are. Chico is running scared. He doesn't know what to do. Both of his pals are dead. Well, one of his pals killed his other pal, Dante. Um, yeah, but two of his uh, partners are dead. He's, hot, he's running scared, he's sitting there, don't know what to do, he's got all that money. What the freaking hell is he going to do? They know the things, they can't even pretend. He can't even, like, pretend that he doesn't even have the money. Like, he can't even pretend that, like, he found the money or something like that. Because um, they know it's him, they know, that they know, the gangsters know. Cottonmouth knows it's him. I was a little surprised, I was actually a little surprised that the, uh, the bird that, uh, Luke's uh, slept with is actually a cop. Uh, detect I think she's a detective actually, more than just an average kind of, she's a detective. Um, that, that caught me off guard a little bit. Uh, I should have clocked on really when she kept on looking at uh, kept looked, looking at, at Cotton Math from the bar. I should have clocked on really but it caught me off guard for some reason. Don't know why. But uh, no, that's a nice surprise. That, that, that's a nice little twist on things. Uh, we've seen some flashbacks of uh, Luke being in prison, getting his. I can only see. I can only tell that he's he's, he's getting his ass kicked in in prison. Uh, that guy Shades. Um, he went to prison with him. I think he was one of the guys that made Luke's life a living hell in, in prison. So he's going to be interested. I'm very interested to see what kind of role Shades is going to play in this. What's he gonna bring to the table? What's he gonna do? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon he's gonna be one of those um, supporting villains, towards the main villain that's gonna be like a pop of thorn in uh, Luke's side because uh, the way Luke reacted when he saw Shades, he was triggered, mate. He just wanted to get the fuck out of there. He wanted to get the fuck out of there, and. You know, he's at home pacing, he's saying, calm down, he, I don't think he, you know, he didn't recognise you. I think some shit would have gone down if, if uh, Shades has actually recognised him. Maybe he did recognise him. Don't forget, Shades was wearing, well, Shades, yeah, wearing the Shades. He could have just gone, you know, he could have done that thing where you're looking that way and you just, because you got the Shades on, you can't tell. He could have recognised him, just didn't react it. We don't know. But uh, I can't wait to see the next episode. This is looking good. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I do, I did like Jessica Jones. But this is a lot more of my... This is definitely a lot more up my street, this series. Definitely. So, uh, yeah. Can't wait to see the next episode, boy. Can't wait to see the next episode. Alright. So, thanks very much, guys, for stopping by, checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later on the next episode of Luke Cage. Bye. Oh my oh, god! Oh no, he's gonna drown! Oh! Oh my god, cuddles! Oh my god, this ain't your day, mate! This is not your day! Okay. He's gonna drown! There's no way 